So today we are exposing the Chinese Communist Party. Now, with what's happening in Ukraine, and um, of course, putting aside the, the tribal sides, you know, one side who would say Western intervention is good, but Russian intervention is bad. Or one side would say Russian intervention is good, NATO intervention is bad. Don't care about that. I care about the fact that, of course, during any conflict, you're going to have the, the PR battle. And the PR battle involves giving out fake news, both sides giving out fake news at times. The problem is, I don't like incompetence. The Chinese Communist Party, <laughs> they've already exposed their own incompetence. Weibo, which is, I don't know if I'm pronouncing it right, is the, the social media app uh, that's controlled by the Chinese Communist Party. And uh, this is a source of being one of the top platforms uh, for um, exchanging messages uh, to make sure that they, they keep everything private. Um, now, <laughs> they basically uh, accidentally leaked as as long as as far as I know, it's accidentally accidentally leaked a part of the the guide in terms of how to spread fake news when it comes to Russia. So, so this is the of course the, in Chinese. I uh, will get the translation uh, for you guys. Uh, the detailed censorship instructions uh, for the Beijing news. Now, one of the CCP linked um, news outlets uh, kind of referring to how to kind of talk about uh, Ukraine and uh, Russia. It is quite fascinating how it is a step-by-step -step guide. And part of this that we received, uh, the translation that we kind of received is the fact that they say, well, from now on, any topic that's related to Ukraine, uh, post them on Weber first, and uh, we have to kind of make sure we vet it before we actually spread it around. Don't post anything against Russia, <laughs> sure. Or pro-West. Cool. So nothing against Russia, nothing pro-West. And they said, well, let us review your uh, the content before posting it. Fair enough. That's that's very much pro-censorship. Good, good. <laughs> and then they say, but then enable the comment section, but only show the ones that we want you to show. Only the appropriate ones. So <laughs> it's, it's like YouTube. <laughs> So certain comments will just disappear. Um, it's funny because they, you know, the big tech Silicon Valley do a similar thing, but uh, they do for different reasons. So <laughs> we have the the Chinese uh, weirdos um, creating this instruction to make sure that they they keep an eye on every single content, including the comments, saying you know watch over them carefully for at least two days, and then we'll find out if we can spread more fake news around the world. Beijing News and the, the subsidiaries on the Beijing News, all the smaller news outlets, uh, they have to follow the order of a President Xi because they just want to stir the pot. That's what China is doing right now. Uh, with the, the conflict between Ukraine and Russia and uh, all they want to do, from again, it's just my opinion, is that they want to stir the pot because they know that with all the sanctions, we're going to have a situation where sanctions are... are right now it's still symbolic and meaningless anyway but if they continue if they get hard then russia needs to go to someone for financial support and that someone is going to be beijing so beijing are going to win so <laughs> they're going to they're be the winners just like what happened with the first lockdown onwards uh, they were the only ones who won because they they were the ones who came to us with their pps and everything else it's a bit tricky right now but we will keep you guys posted we're gonna have a lot of news up uh, updates throughout the day. So subscribe to the channel, click on the bell next to it. I'm Maya TC and we are the media.